So you created a cool web application like this one, but you can't show it to anybody because it's stuck on your computer. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you could put it on the web using GitHub Pages. And the best part about it is that it's absolutely free. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Before we show you the steps, I want to make sure that you don't have any subfolders in your application. This is the application that I'm going to be creating a GitHub page for. Notice that I don't have a subfolder for the images. Typically when we have images, we create a subfolder and we store all of the images inside that subfolder. For some reason, GitHub pages won't be able to recognize the images inside of the subfolder. So I need you to delete any subfolders that you have and just put all of your files inside of one folder like this. All right, once you have that out of the way, let's go over to our browser and we're gonna go to github.com. If you don't have an account, go ahead and create one. If you do, you can just sign in. And I need you to click on the addition symbol here on the upper right hand corner and then click new repository. Go ahead and give your repository a name. Choose a name that has to do with your application. For example, if you have a calculator, then you could just call it calculator. I created an image carousel, so that's what I'm going to call mine. We can leave this as is, and let's click create repository. All right, once we're here, we're gonna click on upload an existing file going to minimize this now what I don't want you to do is grab your folder and put it inside there like that because it's not going to work github pages won't be able to recognize the files inside of the folder instead you're gonna open your folder and you're gonna select all of the files and then you're gonna drop them in All right, once they're all loaded, click commit changes in the bottom of the page. And it's going to take a little bit, but it's gonna take you back to this page. And once this is done, I need you to click on settings and then scroll all the way down until you get to GitHub pages. Click on none, main, and click save. So it kicked us back up to the top of the page. We're going to scroll back down. And this is your new URL. So go ahead and click that. As soon as you click it, it's not going to work yet because it takes about 10 minutes is what it says. But I found that it usually takes about two minutes. So let's just wait a little bit. All right, it's been about 10 seconds. Let me click it again and it's already up and running. It didn't even take two minutes. So this is an actual URL that you can share with people. And now they can look at your application no matter where they are in the world. If this worked for you, please make sure to hit the like button. That's gonna be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching guys. I created an article that shows you the steps you need to create a GitHub page for your application could be found at jsprospect.com. It's actually a very easy read. There's only four steps that you need. And the reason that I created this is because you might not want to watch this video over and over if you forget a step. With this article, you can just bookmark it and you'll always have it with you as a reference.